It's a beautiful day out there. Time to explore. <laughs> Recently did some boondocking at the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge in Southwest Arizona. And a couple days we drove down to Yuma to go to the Territorial Prison and do other sightseeing. And every time we came down 95, I looked off and I saw this suspension bridge sitting down at the end of a dirt road. It just, I was perplexed. What's a suspension bridge doing that seems to be abandoned that there's no real road going to it. So on the way back from Yuma one day, we decided just to stop by. And what you're seeing is just video of us walking up. The wind was too bad, I couldn't record. So we get up there and there's really no information about the bridge. So when we got back home after our trip, I sat down and did some research. And this is actually the story of two bridges. As Yuma was growing, it became obvious there had to be some sort of transportation between Yuma and Phoenix. Well, to get from Yuma to Phoenix, you had to cross the Gila River. So it definitely needed a bridge over the Gila. The first bridge that was used to do this was built at a place called Antelope Hill. The site was originally surveyed in 1912, and they started building it in 1913 using prison labor. And just for a little bit of trivia, it's the one of the very few structures remaining in the early state period of Arizona that was built using prison labor. And I'll put up a picture of what the bridge look, originally looked like when it was finished construction. It, it had problems from the get-go. The bridge opened in 1915, but the location they picked was just not suitable. Monsoon rains came by every year many years damaging part of the bridge. So the state had to spend more money and more money and more money. And finally they said, no, this is not making any sense to having this bridge messed up and then having to replace it. And I'll, I'll put up a picture too that shows you what is left remaining of this bridge. There isn't much. So by 1928, they decided to build the bridge that you're looking at in this video. It was built closer to Yuma, and Arizona contracted with Lamar Cobb to build a long suspension bridge over the Gila, named uh, McFall Bridge in honor of Henry Harrison McFall, supposedly, from what I can tell, the only person from Yuma ever to serve in the Arizona Rangers. So in January 28, they contracted to spend $152,454 to build this suspension bridge over the Gila. And the bridge was finally completed in 1929. And it actually carried traffic up to 1968 when it was deemed unacceptable for modern heavier cars. They built a new dam upstream, which actually rerouted the Gila River and with a new bridge there. So the bridge was no longer used. It's in reasonably good shape. Uh, you can still see the wooden spans under it. The state says they have safety concerns with the bridge. So you can see from the video how they have it blocked off, gated, warning signs. But I was talking to a local person and asking what they knew about the bridge. And they were telling me that while it wasn't really a safety issue, that unfortunately and sadly, some people were jumping off of it to commit suicide. Then you had this suspension bridge sitting there and with YouTube, people had to start climbing the towers of the bridge and making videos and doing all of the kind of crazy stuff on it. So I think that's probably the main reason why they blocked it off. And this local was also telling me that they were planning on blowing up the bridge, but People in Yuma said, no, 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 this is part of our heritage, our 
history here, so they fought for it, and they got it listed on the uh, historic places list that the United States government does. And once you put it on the National Historic Places, there's nothing you can do for, with it. It'd be kind of nice if they developed a park or they put up some information boards. And as I said, I, we were just driving by, uh, drove up this dirt road, walked up to it, said, okay, let's see if we can access the other side. So we drove about five miles around and the second video you're seeing is us walking, approaching it from the other side. So I just found it kind of interesting that number one, there's a suspension bridge in Southwest Arizona. And number two, there's an abandoned suspension bridge in Southwest Arizona. And this is one of those things when we were planning our trip, this was not on the list of things to do. It was just by sheer curiosity, driving down 95 and there's this bridge that we decided to stop, check it out. And since I couldn't get any information when we were actually there and where we were boondocking, I couldn't get internet. So I sat down when we got home and just wanted to share it. I, I just find it interesting and it was one of those happy accidents that we happened to see this. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please think about subscribing to the channel. We now have the cargo trailer conversion to a camping trailer finish. So we're going to be out boondocking three out of four weeks every month. And we'll keep on finding places like this and I'll share them on the channel. So do the subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you see when you, when you get notified that when new videos come out. And if you'd be kind enough, please give the video a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm somehow to make it show up on more people's searches and leave comments. And, and I will just leave you with this little piece of trivia. From what I understand that I read somewhere, it was actually the design of this bridge that was the inspiration for the design of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Whether that's true or not, just read it somewhere. So as I said, hope you enjoyed it and hey, have yourself a pleasant day.